Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, hope you are enjoying this Python series. So, in today's video, we'll see what is the second type of data type that is the advanced data type or in fact you might have uh, already be familiar with the strings data type so uh, let's begin so string data type is uh, the basic data type that we have already previously seen or uh, if you know from some other programming languages like C, C++ or Java, it's more or less the same, but there are some other few uh, different operations which are possible uh, with string. So let's begin. So I've written here that is uh, string serves a list a relation with a list means at the end of this uh, we'll do something so that you can understand what is the relation that the string has to share with list data type. Uh, then I have written that you have four different uh, representations of the string. Yeah, it's uh, possible or it should be done because uh, when you work with real life projects in data science projects, mostly uh, you hardly write any code. Like the code which you do, only this much part, uh, like if you are very much flexible about what these things are or if you know the slicing things and uh, other stuffs to extract and filter and to iterate that's easy but the most of the time goes in uh, data pre-processing like uh, you get this data set or data file and then uh, if there is some tab space or white spaces then you need to identify that or if there is some misprints or like uh, extra characters that has occurred so you need to identify that so that is the most uh, challenging thing or that is the most time consuming or even i can say 80 percent of the time of you goes into that like in data pre-processing itself or data cleaning so uh, that is one part of data mining but uh, here uh, we mainly use with tools and so like python is one such tool where you can do but uh, i am discussing about the uh, primitive uh, places where these are used or commonly uh, seen so uh, let's begin so uh, first of all the first representation of a string how you can represent is like say uh, i have some variable s and in that uh, like we normally have like say we have something space x so this is uh, first way how we represent string uh, then we have say let this be s1 now we have second way that is uh, we already know about this uh, with the help of single quote we represent like this space x now uh, the third way to represent this is say uh, we have some name of a place so usually in this data sets or in excel files which you mostly get in that you have this uh, columns or basically the attributes so uh, in attribute values uh, some places uh, you have this uh, string which is uh, characterized by single quote so it can be something like uh, you have some name of a place like say it is Dimello Road so this uh, type of things can happen so this is one of the challenging part when you do data pre-processing so uh, how do you eliminate this or you want to consider this as a string itself so how do you do that so in order to do that uh, what you have is uh, now there are uh, two ways to do this either you can uh, write three single quotes before this string or three single quotes after to this so this is one way and say like uh, if i run this and say if i print just only s3 what i obtain is i get demello road so uh, this is one way and second way is like i have say s4 and i have dimello road like this so then what i can do is i can put double quotes 
before this and after this so then now if i print s4 here what i get is like this so these are the uh, four ways uh, by which you can uh, do the data pre-processing so things like this happen in real life projects in data science projects it happens uh, but uh, you don't go and like do uh, sit and do this kind of things there are inbuilt methods when you learn advanced data types like numpy or pandas so there are uh, things like which you can like automatically used to convert these things so this is just a, a glance of like what you will be going to do or like in real life projects yeah so uh, this was the uh, four different representations uh, of strings uh, now what we do is uh, we move on to some of the uh, operations or the methods that are commonly found in strings so if you don't have any programming uh, background before and you are watching this uh, python programming for the first time then no worries or if you have some programming knowledge before then you can also uh, see this because there are some more things that we'll be discussing here so first of all uh, let's take some string so let that string be d and in this uh, i'll write some uh, i'll write a sentence that is elon musk is the owner of spacex so uh, now if i print this if i print d it shows Elon Musk is the owner of SpaceX and if I just only print D then it will print along with this single quotes so that is just one small difference that you have to keep in mind like the different representations if you just print D it will print just only what is there inside or uh, this is the desired one and if you just print D it will print along with uh, this thing that is single quotes now what we want to do is uh, say we want to determine the length of this so how do we determine like length of d if i want to print length of d it says like it's 32 so the indexing basically starts from 0 so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So likewise you get 32. I have missed some uh, spaces in between. Maybe it is single or double spaces. So you get, so this is the compiler return. So there is uh, no error in this. So uh, you get 32 different like characters, including the white spaces. Next, what we have is uh, we have uh, something called as we have index. So, say like we have d dot index, and in index, what we say like uh, so you can read this so index of some sub and then start and int, so something like that. So, I write like I want index of say x. What is the index of? x so index of x is 31 so there was some space after that that's why it returned 32 at the end of that string so when we counted that so uh, better we print this so we are more uh, yeah so that is 31 so we printed this now what we do is we have some method called as count so we have d dot count and count of we want the count of uh, say capital e so capital e will be only one uh, but if i just write small e 
then it will be 3. Why it is 3? Because now here it does not consider any case sensitiveness. Now here E is from this capital E, then E from here that is from the owner and E from the space X. So capital E does matters, but small e does not matters. So in small e you get all the counts of E. So you can check that with uh, S also. So for capital S it should return only one, and for small s it should return two. So uh, with small letters or lower case it is uh, not case sensitive, but with capital or upper case it is case sensitive. So now uh, what we have is uh, now the best part is like uh, I told you when we did list uh, we have something called as the slicing. So uh, in string also we can do the slicing. So that is an interesting thing that we can do. So uh, let's slice this particular string. So we have uh, three places. This is the start one. This is the stop one and this is the step one. So what we do is uh, say I want like uh, Musk is the owner of SpaceX. How we can print that? So for that we need to have the index of this. So that will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first we need to uh, print that is something like we want 0 and 0 to 5 that is stop index so now this returns elon now why elon because it has 0 then 1 2 and 3 and there is one space if you can see here there is one space so that is like this runs from 0 to n minus 1 so it is 0 to 4 not 5 and now what i want is I will start from 5. So what I get is Musk is the owner of SpaceX. So it's like uh, you have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you get from the 5th position it starts reading and whatever is there after that it will give you like that. And say like now if i print the length of this thing that is d mm, i guess it's not printing okay print of length of d Yeah, so you get 32. Now, if I just remove this 4, you can see this has just shifted because there is one space that is also included here. So, these are the small things which uh, you need to keep in mind when you do data pre processing. So, before this, if you want to see again that it just discarded the space because it started exactly from M that is at the fifth position so in this case it will consider that space now uh, let us discuss uh, so this was about the slicing thing uh, so you can practice over it uh, this was some things uh, which I could do now you can just uh, play around with the slicing operator but it will not give you some meaningful result it will just reverse the spring and uh, string and it will give you some other results but uh, say like if you just printed like this so minus one so it will just uh, reorder everything so that will be the reverse of this so how this basically reads is like uh, the mirror of this thing but it will be flipped everything will be flipped so elon it starts from now from the right hand side so and it's also reversed so e l o n m u s k i s t e h 
like this so spacex mode to the uh, left hand side so these are some things like if you can play around this words and scramble the words and things like that so in that this is mainly used and also in information retrieval where you want to count the frequency of uh, items and like how we uh, saw here uh, in all those things these are mainly used now uh, what we do is uh, we come to this point that it serves as a relation or it serves some kind of relation with your list that is the uh, other advanced data type which we saw so now how does this uh, serves a list so before that uh, let me comment this down this one and even this one yeah so we have uh, something like called as uh, split so if i call s dot d dot split what it will give is a list so whatever is the uh, particular word it will be considered as one element and it will be put into a uh, list now you can do probably uh, just like you can do the iteration or if you want to do looping or any other list operations you are permitted to do before append remove pop or anything you can do now with this particular list but uh, the original string remains unchanged you have to keep this in a separate variable or separate buffer and then you can do it for further processing so this is mainly used for uh, efficient processing like information retrieval or if you want to treat every and each and every object or each and every word and then if you want to uh, operate on that or manipulate on that you mainly use this kind of uh, like split operation so it has a wide variety like uh, when you do uh, categorization or text mining or things like that in that you mainly use or find this application then uh, what you have is you have something like uh, so basically if you uh, type d dot so you can get all the different types of uh, operations that is possible so there are many different even I don't know all of this but it will be dependent upon the use case as and when you do different kinds of operations you will get to know like what is basically used and so uh, i just want to uh, show like there is one that is starts with so if we write like this starts with elon so it will basically return a boolean value that is true and if i write space x then it will be false and in this uh, place what i can write is ends with so it will return true here so these are some of the basic operations uh, of the list and the main thing is like uh, to pre-process the data so that is the important thing that when you deal with uh, uh, other data types when you do different kinds of projects or when you do the actual thing so this was the important thing thing to pull out in uh, this discussion so well that was all regarding the today's session regarding strings in uh, python skill series so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found the god educate on this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video